Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, just a reminder, if you watched my last two videos, I do still have the giveaway going on. I want to get a few more people um, on there and involved, so try and go over to that link. I will post it down below if you want to go there now, or you can go there after the video. I will remind you as well there. Um, it is for Canadians only due to the iTunes gift card being in Canadian currency, so it will only work in Canada. Um, other than that, um, I had my birthday on the weekend, January 22nd was my birthday, and it was a wonderful birthday. I, I almost didn't celebrate it because I'm not always in a mood to celebrate it or feel like... I feel selfish sometimes, I guess, celebrating it, and I wasn't feeling well either. Um, I've had vertigo for about two weeks, just a little over two weeks, and it just, it almost didn't happen, but I'm glad it did. Um, and yeah, so I got my vertigo figured out, I got some medication for it, um, but I got some comments uh, on my Instagram about making more videos and more frequently. So here's the thing. I have what's called Lyme disease and it's chronic. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, it is chronic. I have had it since I was five, which is when we remember that I actually got bit by a tick. So I really struggle with my health a lot and I'm not always up to making videos. I do try my hardest to make sure that I do get a video out at least once a week. So this will be this week's video. Um, and when I do the draw for the giveaway, I will be doing, so it's not going to be this weekend, but the following weekend, give it one more week for the giveaway, but I'll do it. I will end up doing lives on YouTube as well, I'm hoping. So there is that. Um, yeah, so for today's look and kind of in general to generalize the video. So I used my Tartlet or Tardiest Pro palette by Tarte today. Kind of, yeah, it's the palette. I used these two green colors right down here. So this is actually a dark green. And then I used this beautiful shimmer. But I also wanted to use the Morphe palette because I haven't done a green look for a while. So I went ahead and did uh, added these two colors in with the look and it really turned out wonderful as you can see. Um, I also discuss a couple of new items I got, uh, a contour palette and a new mascara that I got. And I hit on how finding a contour palette that has more of a cool shade um, or a, a contour stick that has a cooler shade, uh, the two that I really like right now. For a stick, I use the contour stick by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Mink. And then I just got a Nude by Nature contour palette, and it is in the, um, in dark. That is the palette color. So I go over that in this video as well. If you want to find out more and how I would do and create this wonderful look, go ahead and keep watching. Hey guys, so before I get into the, my contour with my new contour palette, or contour, um, yeah, contour palette by Nude by Nature, I'm going to be doing my eyes. I did do my left eye first, and then I will be doing, I will now be doing my bright. I really liked how that worked out last, last video I did. It saved time for on the video, as well as... I'm not wearing my contacts or my glasses, so I'm kind of blind at the moment. And it just made it easier to be able to see what I was doing and to know what I'm going to do for this eye. 
So I'm going to go ahead. I'm using, I'm using my Tarte, what is it? Tartiest Pro Palette by Tarte. I haven't really used it since I first got it. And then I'm using some green shades in my Morphe palette that I have. Um, I haven't really played with that much either, and I wanted to play with that. So I'm doing kind of this this green classic eye later in the corner and then darker in the outside. It's not a smoky eye. A smoky eye is more of a solid all-over color for your eye. This is what they call a classic eye. So I'm going to... I've put on um, classic, which is a kind of a creamy yellow powder right there for my transition. I'm then going to go in with Innocent and put it right underneath right there above the brow bone. I then go in with a uh, Bold which is a uh, close to Innocent I'd say but a little more of a cooler tone. I'm just going to put that right there. It's a little darker as well, I think. And then from there, I put in the Indie, which is kind of a cool shade. Just for in that corner before I go in with the green. So I'm using two of the greens from the Morphe palette because I did notice that Tarte has this really beautiful dark green in it. Um, so I'm using, I'm using these two right here. And they're kind of like a mossy type of green. So put that palette down so I can see what I'm, so I can getting closer and I just kind of put it once again relax my eye a little above a little above my crease and then into the corner and then I'm going to do the same with the darker green but it's going to go more towards the outside so I'm kind of just layering them and giving them dimension this way. I, I've got to say, green is one of my favorite colors to go to. Um, but I was doing so much that I kind of switched it up and then I forgot about it for a while. And I'm like, e no, I want to play with this green today. So then what I did... I'm not too sure if I'm going to do it with this eye. I think I'm going to do it the same as I did be did with the other eye. I went in with this kind of brush, if anyone can see that. So, and I kind of I put the product there, but it didn't really blend it out nicely. And I'm not too sure if that's the formula or not. And then with a flushy, fluffy brush, I'm going to blend that out. And I did kind of dab into that green. It's called Punk. Just kind of cool. Just so we can get a little bit more of a smoky effect going on. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means possible. So then I go in with Trendy, which is shade right next to Punk, and it's beautiful. It's this green shimmery shade. And use the fluffy brush just to give it that smoky effect. I'm going to help blend out the color on the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to do my under eye as well quickly. And today I'm wearing for, for, for uh, today I'm wearing for foundation my um, L'Oreal Infallible 
24 hour fresh wear foundation because I am wearing my glasses and it's it doesn't lift off it doesn't move as much when I wear this foundation when I wear and then wear my glasses as well which I really like so I'm gonna go back in with punked which is that dark green shade and just get a little in the lower line. I'm, I'm actually gonna put a little more right here on the other side as well. Cause it does feel like this side is a little lighter right now. But we're about to change that. So I then went in with the more mossy of the two colors of the greens. Um, and this, this Morphe palette is the 35M Boss Mode. Then I just went under here. Go back under here as well, just to Make sure they're even, try not to poke my eye. And then kind of up here. And we're gonna overlap right up here. So after that, I'm thinking about eyeliner. I think I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Eyeliner right away. And just put it right there, I think. Yeah, that looks good. I'm not really doing a winged liner today. I have been doing winged liners, but I'm opting out this time because I'm not wearing lashes or anything like that. I'm just going to go in with a black eyeliner on the bottom. So as previously mentioned, I got a couple of new products, one of which is, as soon as I can find it, okay, one of which is a mascara, which I will do, show once I'm done my face, and another one is, I got another contour palette. So, I absolutely have I have been trying to like find the best contour palette for me in general so let's talk a little bit about contour what do we want in contour for our contour well we kind of want it to be a cooler shade so I've gone through several palettes um I've gotten a Anastasia Beauty um Anastasia, what is it? Once I can find it. I know it's here. Oh, here it is. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Mink, which is a really nice cool shade I find for being a stick. And then I've also, so this one I actually got in a boxy charm um and it's a it's a cooler shade so this one right here and it's coming off cooler actually on the camera as I can see but it's actually more of a warm color whereas for contouring you really want a cooler color um for that the shading because you don't want it to be warm, you want it to be cool, get that nice shadow effect. 
And the other one that I tried is by Pharmacy Face Sculpting Palette. And once again, it's more of a warm shade. So I'd probably use this for warming up my face at opposed to contouring it really. But I came across at Shoppers this little Nude by Nature contour palette. So that's the palette. And that's what it looks like. And that shade right there is a very cooler, more of a shadowy kind of tone that you want. Um, so this one is the dark. There you have a light and a dark contour or palette. But this one's the dark because I wanted that cool shade. Whereas the warmer palette or the light palette had a warmer shade. So I'm going to go in with that. Just kind of put it right there. And then again. On the other side. So it's a much cooler effect, cool toned effect rather than a warm warming effect, which is what you want your bronzer to be. Just blend that out. And it's really a lot very similar in color to the, my Anastasia contour stick in Mink. Of course, it's easy to blend for the most part. It's buildable. And depending on how much product you use, it's either going to be very opaque or very, like, very dark or not as dark. So if you have a darker skin tone, I'd suggest building it up for a couple of layers. Okay, so I'm gonna go go and do the rest of my face makeup, and I will be back with my new uh, mascara that I got. I'm really excited to talk about it. I've been waiting for it for months. Well, actually, like two months maybe. Um, they sent it to the wrong address, and then they didn't. I didn't get it anyways. It was a whole cabal and fuss to get this mascara and I got it and I absolutely, I kind of actually really like it. So I'm really looking forward to using it again today. So I will be right back. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is done. Um, I got this new mascara called by Doll 10 called the Effortless Lash XL. And it's a really beautiful mascara. I'm just gonna um, curl my lashes first before I go ahead and use it. And skein, I'm sorry for getting uncomfortably close to the camera there for a little. I am not wearing my glasses once again, so there it's really hard to see what I'm doing sometimes. Okay, so this is the mascara and this is the wand. So I actually, I want a gift card for them from one of my friends who also does a YouTube channel as well. And I got it in a, th there it was like a three, three for one kind of deal. So I got three mascaras for the price of one, which is awesome. Um, but it took a really long time to get in and then there was mix up. I had accidentally put the wrong address and then Figured that once I figured that out, contacted the person that the address went to, and it was a big kerfuffle and everything. So, anyways, I finally have them. It's a beautiful packaging as well. I absolutely love the packaging that it came in. The wand itself reminds me of um, Benefit Cosmetics, their real mascara wands. So I love that because I love their wands. And the application, it's really quite nice. Keeps my lashes very separated. So if you don't like that clumpy mascara look, 
and it also builds quite nicely. Now, I am going to admit that the first time that I tried this out was in a doctor's office, I think. Yeah. So, I was in a rush that day and I grabbed this mascara and I tried it out. And I don't think I really got it to the full potential it could have been then because I didn't have my eyelash curler. I didn't have, I was in a rush trying to hurry because I had the rest of my makeup on, but I didn't really have my mascara on yet. Oh, there's my cat. Hi, Snowball. He's chatting up a storm, letting me know to feed him. I f just realized I forgot to. So I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done this video. Anyways, it's beautiful mascara. I do love it. So I'm going to go ahead, <laughs> finish this up. Um, and I'll be right back. Hey, so I went ahead, I finished off my mascara and they, they're quite nice. I quite like them. I like how the doll tan works. It fans them out. Um, it doesn't quite fan out the, like what I find that when I, my eyelashes curl funny, so they don't really fan out that way a lot when I curl them but if I don't curl them then they curl even funnier <laughs> or more funny and it just looks weird either sometimes either way it doesn't really matter but it does lengthen them quite a bit and I used I even used them on my bottom lashes so that when I first used it I normally get like you know, the fallout or like smudging from my mascara on my under eye in this area. But I didn't get that with this one. So I was really pleased to, to have that and to have a mascara that didn't do that. So this is the final look. Let me know what you think. Do you love it? <laughs> um, and a few reminders. I do still have a giveaway going on. I will link the videos to follow and to comment on down below. Um, it is unfortunately for Canadians only as it is in Canadian currency. It is an iTunes gift card. So if you are a Canadian, <laughs> if you're a Canadian citizenship or live in Canada, um, I highly recommend you go ahead and check out that video down below. I will click the link, um, you can watch it, uh, it was a really good video, I did some new techniques with the beginning and some editing, so there's that, and other than that, have a wonderful day guys, um, and enjoy the rest of, the rest of January, and happy Chinese New Year, I guess, <laughs> so bye everyone, have a good week, and have a good weekend, whenever I post this. <laughs> Bye!